Well, let's discuss further. I'm joined by Ian Crookshanks from the SA Institute of Race Relations in studio. Great to have you with us. And Ian. to be with you, Francis. Thank you. So, um, the, the Remain campaign, it, it seems, I heard some commentary, um, has really enforced the economic yes. decision, the rational decision, the Leave campaign uh, becoming a bit more of an emotional yes. vote. Do, do you think that's how this is split? I think, I think that is so. And you've got to look at the numbers that are involved. First of all, the total number of potential voters 46 million wow that's a lot Huge. but but I think what we have to say is maybe there's been a minority up to now people who are involved in the financial sector the decision makers from a business point of view and on the on the remain side whereas some of the people with their feet on the ground uh, the people who are actually going to work every day and and they are saying well Britain should go it alone I actually think what is interesting is to say well where's an indicator the markets have spoken just look at the, at the London Stock Exchange. That's been going up over the last couple of days. Why? Because they have confidence it's going to be a better business climate. And I think that is quite interesting as an indicator of what is felt may be happening. Uh, uh, do you agree the markets are going up because they think the, the Remain vote yes. will, will win? Um, and, and that's what the bookies think. But, yes. but democracy is a different thing. Like, like you say, the true? decision makers, the, the financial people, will not be making the yes or, or no. Well, yeah. they will be a, a small voice of a, of a much yeah. bigger crowd. When it comes to the Brits, I don't think they're usually a sort of as a group in for radical change. It's a little bit of change at a time. Slowly, slowly, they will make a change, possibly if they want to. So I'm not sure that they're ready for this drastic move of in or out and voting for out. Okay, and we hope that for the RAND's sake as, as well. Is yes. it fair enough to say if there is a, a Brexit, that would be a huge upset on, on the market, causing huge volatility? It could certainly do so. I think it, it's, I'm very sure it would do so. And the thing is, we just have to look at what it means for South Africa. What's it mean for us? Look at capital flows. We are starved of foreign capital. Foreign direct investment has plunged because of the uncertainty both internally and I the economy external environment and, and I think that if we have to find that we go to a so-called risk-off situation where the asset managers, the, the, the financiers of the world say we're not into high risk. I'm sorry to say that South Africa is a high risk area. It's the RAND is a high risk scenario and this really is very important and that needs to be avoided. It needs to be stabilized. You know we've got parts of the country literally at war with itself in one of our capital cities. We don't need any more problems in slowing down capital flows and potential business. That's our risk. So if any Britons are listening, vote remain for yes, South please Africa's do that. sake. <laughs> um, uh, given uh, Given the economics of, of yes. the EU, there's been a lot of debate, you know, is this a good economic experiment in itself? <laughs> a lot of contentiousness about uh, the, the fact that the UK pays the EU, what does it get back? What, what, what do you okay. think, what, what, do you, what does it receive in terms of value? Let's sum it up this way. Uh, Britain exports something like three or four times as much to the EU as it imports. And on all those exports, it gets preferred rates. So I think that that is to say that there's more to gain than there is to lose. And I think as, a, as the major, one of the, probably yes, the world's major financial sector, they don't want any reduction in overall trade to take that away from them in any way, mm. because th that's, that's something to be maintained, and, and I think from which they get a lot of benefit. Do, do you brook the argument at all from our perspective yes. that if a Brexit happens, um, the UK, once we get through this market turmoil, will be looking for new trade partners and, and may even forge closer relations with Africa, or is, is yeah. that just too up in the air? I think that's, that, that's a bit overly hopeful. We do about 10% of our foreign trade with the UK. So that's, they're, they're major trading partners. That's very important indeed. But what we have to say then is that uh, what would like if, if the UK itself, through isolation after Brexit, was doing less overall international trade, there'd be less opportunity mm. for us to trade with them, to export our goods or to import from them. So, you know, it, it's, it's, I think we have, we have more to gain if they remain. And I think they have more to gain if they remain as well. But unfortunately, 
sense doesn't always prevail. Yeah, <laughs> this is democracy um, yes, in, in action. Finally, what, what about the emotional, what about the fact that workers uh, can move, that, that skills yeah. can move? You know, it's often said capitalism is unfair because companies can go wherever they want to, um, but, but workers can't. I love the idea of, of someone from Poland who, who may get a great opportunity in, in the UK, and they're saying that they're actually benefiting the, the economy net net. Yes, so, and these people are making a contribution to the UK economy. So therefore, it sounds like in that case, it would be better, a Remain vote would be better for them. Mm. It, would be, it would be good for the, for, for, for the efficiency of the overall economy to have access to workers, to those contributors from wherever they are to bring their benefits as well. And I think that's the way of international trade today. You know, take the skills where they're best needed and best rewarded. And if there's a better reward over on that side, let the skills go there. So, you know, it seems to me that perhaps the rank and file won't see that. Uh, the Brits are not inclined to, to, to quick change, and I think that is why I think they will probably stay where they are for the time being, for the indefinite future. All right, well, we all know this time tomorrow. We Thank will you for indeed. your analysis, Ian Cookshanks, from the South African Institute of Race Relations.